there's a spirit of, damn, this is hard, isn't it? And what do you do to get where you want to go? And what do you do? And what's your suggestion about how I could get this better? So it's really, it's a, it's a atmosphere of um, sort of mutual understanding um, and mutual sympathy, because we're all stuck with this crazy profession. Um, and, and also a, a great camaraderie arises out of that. I had a wonderful experience um, reading at Sewanee, and this is getting to be early in my tenure here. Um, I was working on the novel that became Charming Billy um, and hadn't shown a bit of it to anyone um, and still had quite a bit more still to write. Um, and I got to Sewanee and I looked at the first chapter and I sort of took a deep breath and I thought, I have no idea if I'm even making sense in this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this at my reading. Um, and right after the reading, John Casey came up to me and he quoted back a couple of lines that I had read and he said, absolutely right. And I took that, you know, and I've, I've always tried to read something new. I've tried out, I think, every novel um, that I've published since then. The very first reading of any, it has been at Sewanee. I especially love that there are other genres. Um, I learn as much and often more from hearing the playwrights talk about craft and the poets talk about craft, um, as I do from the, my fellow fiction writers talking about craft. You know, one of the things I, I always mention um, for the first wor workshop at Sewanee um, is, is to be aware of this unique opportunity we have that this is not just about the time in the workshop. And it's not just about the hour you spend in conference. Um, it's about the whole 12 days. It's about having dinner and having a drink uh, afterwards um, and grabbing coffee in the morning. Um, and the kinds of conversations that just develop out of us all being together. Um, and I really emphasize that because I do think that is uh, the unique and wonderful thing about a summer conference and a conference like Sewanee, and Sewanee in particular, because there is no hierarchy. The faculty don't go and disappear when the workshop is over. Um, and I remember some years back uh, sitting uh, at a reading at at Sewanee, and I was sitting behind Anthony Hecht, Donald Justice, and John Hollander, the three of them sitting. Um, and, and for you know a relatively young writer and someone who um, always holds poets in great awe, um, I had this sort of visceral thrill <laughs> that these three brilliant writers um, were right there and I could have tapped any one of them on the shoulders and had a wonderful conversation and it would have been warm and welcoming but just this triumvirate um, of, of American letters um, and you're just hanging out together for two weeks in the summer on the mountaintop. <laughs>